all right guys welcome to our channel code with sunny and in this video i will be talking about the problem minimum radius of hacker at september circuit okay so like this problem involves the uh, like totally binary search if you are not going to feel the like if you need to find out the minimum integer value radius r and if you are not uh, getting the idea of binary search uh, then you must have to practice more in this uh, concept uh, of binary search okay like you cannot do a greedy algorithm under the given constraints yes you can do but uh, to iterate up to 10 raised to the power 8 times or 10 raised to the power 9 times is not allowed so you need to think for uh, like uh, greedy like greedy solutions will to fill you need to think for a binary search uh, finding out the minimum integer value radius r of a circle that is being needed okay so we have been given two arrays x and y where like x coordinate and y coordinate of n points lying in the 2d plane okay and also we would be given another array a denoting the values associated with each point like uh, we have a certain point x comma y and that point is also going to hold some value uh, any value like it is going to hold some any value you can also understand that it is going to hold some like uh, let's say point is going to hold some points like uh, some like uh, it is being happening like uh, to achieve some score you are going to get some points like in a game okay like if you want to reach that 2d point that is given in this problem you are going to achieve some score and that score is given in this array a okay so like every uh, 2d point is going to be associated with some value that is given in this array a. and what we need to find out the minimum integer value radius r of a circle with center at 0 comma 0 such that the sum of all the values of nodes within the circle or on the circle that is that uh, all the points that are lying inside or on the circle is going to be greater than or equal to an integer of b if no such value of r exists we are going to print minus one. okay so i am not going to explain all these stuff let's try to understand this problem mathematically so what is being given here is like we have been given some like we need to choose a circle and uh, like this is the center of the circle at 0 comma 0 and we have some radius r <laughs> I don't think this is a circle actually I am very bad at drawing and this is a radius r and we have some like n points that is being given in this 2d plane like uh, let we denote it uh, over here like it can be inside it can be outside I don't know it can be on this circle okay I'm not interested in this one they will be analyzing this question with the help of uh, mathematical equations okay so what is the uh, general equation of circle if it is uh, like uh, x minus x1 general equation of circle plus uh, y minus uh, y1 a whole square exactly equal to r square yes this is the equation of circle with x1 comma y1 as the center okay now since x1 and y1 is 0 i can write this as x square plus y square r square okay so let us denote s1 as uh, like uh, for the circle s1 i am going to denote x square plus y square minus r square okay now if you have studied in your like uh, higher school or something like class uh, 11th or 12th then you guys must be aware that if a point let's a point uh, alpha comma beta is going to lie inside a circle with a given equation then how we are going to check it out if it is going to lie inside or on the circle so i will just say s1 of alpha comma beta must be less than or equal to zero okay so like uh, you have to put alpha comma beta in this equation okay so you will say alpha square plus beta square minus r square and the value let's say you are going to get as uh, gamma okay so if the value of gamma is going to be like less than or equal to zero then this uh, point alpha comma beta is going to lie inside or on the circle if uh, let me just uh, put out the more specific condition if gamma is exactly zero then the point is going to lie on the circle 
and if gamma is strictly negative then the point is going to lie inside the circle now the question is like how this is going to help us as i have already said if we are going to do the binary search over l as the starting one so minimum radius can be zero and the maximum radius is like uh, let me just check it out you can see x and y coordinate can vary up to 10 raised to the power 8 so for safer side let's just take a 10 raised to the power 9 so we are going to check it out with the help of binary search so mid will be like l plus r by 2 right so we will having some mid and let us claim that this mid is going to be the radius of my chosen circle that is we will check it out if i will just make a circle with this value of radius okay and just include all those points which are going to lie inside or on the circle having this as the radius if i am going to include all those points and find out the values sum of values okay of all those points which are going to lie inside or on the circle and let's call this as capital s if that capital s is going to be like greater than or equal to p if uh, that sum is going to be having the greater than or equal to p you need to understand that if this happens it means that there can be less uh, that that is there can be lesser amount of radius than, than this mid okay so you need to decrement your r boundary that is we have the l boundary and we have the r boundary of the binary search if this s is going to be like greater than or equal to p then you can easily claim that there can be lesser radius than the current radius which is mid so in this case l remains as the same but r becomes mid minus 1 okay so this is the concept of binary search if you are aware about that then you can do easily but what about this condition fails in that case you need to search for a larger radius so l barabar mid plus 1 okay and how you are going to find the sum of values you are going to iterate for the n time and the binary search is going to uh, take logarithmic of this value so it should be like n log of 10 raised to the power 9 time complexity so let's understand this in detail in the coding part you can see all the test cases have been passed so i have taken the value n p and uh, this uh, vector pair coordinate going to hold the coordinates of the points and array is going to arr is going to store the values associated with every point now l is 0 r is 10 raised to the power 9 and we need to find out the minimum radius let's initialize answer as inf that is the biggest value long long max i think yes so okay so for every mid let's check it out if this mid that is if we are going to construct a circle with center at 0 comma 0 and having the radius as this mid and we are going to get the sum of the values of all those points that are going to lie inside or on the circle and if that sum is going to be greater than or equal to p it means that there can be smaller radius so i am going to decrement r as mid minus 1 otherwise l as mid plus 1 note that in this case also i am going to since i am trying to find out the minimum value here i am going to initialize like assign answer as mid and if answer remains as inf it means that there doesn't exist the minimum radius uh, satisfying the given condition so answer becomes minus one and finally print the answer and the main thing is like this ok function that is taking the radius r and finding out the sum of the values uh, for all those points which are going to lie inside or on the circle you can see i'm going to iterate the end times for all the coordinates and finding out this uh, this value what is the value i think so this value x square plus y square minus r square that is alpha square plus beta square minus r square so you can see this uh, x square plus y square minus r square if that value is less than or equal to zero you can see that yes this point is going to lie inside or on the circle of having the radius r and finally return the sum this will be compared with the value of p okay and for further actions that is going to be taken r as mid minus one or l as mid plus one so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to a youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video